In my last video, I showed you how these massive bullies tried and failed miserably in their efforts to intimidate me from doing my job at the climate strike rally on Friday. However, I left out the crucial ending because I believe it deserves its own video. This, my friends, is that video. So a few minutes after these two rather large blokes walked up and started yelling at me, they posted the following to Facebook. Tiny live stream hobbit Avi Amini was spotted by some Miyadis at today's climate change rally, trying in vain to find students to bully at a rally of 100,000 plus people. The Yardies did their Aussie duty and gave him a cheeky yell or two, as you do. And Avi had a bit of a breakdown. They were just having a yarn with him about how he's a convicted home invader and how he throws knives at women and stuff. You know, the facts. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, Avi melted down and was howling at them about getting their names, doxing them and visiting their houses and God knows what else. Calm down, Avi. Look at how huffy he looks. When he realised they weren't going to leave, he went to the coppers and whined that they were stalking him. This loser is paid a salary by Rebel Media to do this facile shit at the expense of real political movements. And he can't even handle a little bit of light conversation from a yardy passing by. It's literally your job to cop it, you fucking sook. Earn your wage. For some reason, this photo was the only thing attached to the post, not a video. I don't know, who knows? Anyways, they seemed pretty chuffed with their excellent work and pushed their morally superior fans to go and vote for their upcoming event at Melbourne's Fringe Festival. Hmm, that gets me thinking, you know? I wonder how those brave, tough men would handle if, let's say, some opposition were to rock up. I don't know. Who knows? Shortly after, I posted what really happened. And it certainly wasn't just a little bit of light conversation, as they put it. Nor was it just one yardy passing by. It was two really big boys trying to utilise their size to bully me out of doing my job. Yes, my job. Probably a word that's missing from their vocabulary. By the way, I don't actually work for Rebel as they claim. Most of what they write about me is fake news. <laughs> but regarding this specific issue, I work for TR News, which is funded by you guys. And thank you very much. In fact, tr.news forward slash support if you also want to be part of funding too. God knows we need it. But my point here is my job is literally covering these sorts, of event, these sorts of events. Now, you don't have to like my work. In fact, you can even hate it. But it's my job. It's what I do to feed my family. I enjoy it. Most importantly, though, it's absolutely legal. And it is my right to do as it is yours to let me know you disapprove. And I'm always happy to engage, debate, or even just cop a little bit of abuse, as we've seen in all my videos. But there's a line. The moment you stop me from being able to do my job, then obviously something has to be done to ensure I can get on with my work, or my job can't get done. Are you guys following? But these clowns got very triggered once they realized how many people saw them for the big, gutless bullies they actually are. So they decided to try rewrite what happened. You know, like lefties love to do. <laughs> the head of this yelling against racist dogs jumped on Facebook to say, let's get clear on what happened with Avi Yamini yesterday, because it's amazing. Avi has made it his life's paid work to engage with and bait people at rallies for footage. 
and even to visit the homes of people he targets and harass them for footage. That's what he's known for. And yesterday, when faced with a couple of yard members, notice how suddenly they're plurals. What happened? I don't know. Who knows? Now this lie's got to move right along. When faced with a couple of yard members, merely having a yarn with him and interrupting his precious paid harassment footage. How did Avi respond? He approached the police and asked them for protection. And he told them that he was being stalked. Man, apparently that shoe doesn't fit too well on the other foot, eh, Avi? How fucking fragile. <laughs> well, y'all saw what their definition of a yarn is. Apparently, it means tormentors who are trying to intimidate using their size, but then cowering like little girls the moment their mark steps up to their threats. Fuck off, mate. Get the fuck out of here. Make me. Hang on, make no, 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 We won't be doing that. Arby. You'll make me? Come on. Arby. No, no, no. Arby. You'll make Arby. me. You are. No, 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 oh, yeah. I didn't even need the police protection. I just needed the heavyweights to stop disrupting my interviews. The truth is, I had a few options when they kept following me and screaming at anyone I tried to engage. I could have, you know put them to sleep. But then I would have been locked up so my paid job of capturing the event would not have been completed. So that kind of takes that option away. I could have tried to engage. You guys want to talk about climate change or you just want to dribble? Why do you, you suddenly care about climate change? I don't, I'm here to report. I'm, I get report paid to do what? this. Report on what? There's a rally here, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. That didn't work either. I could have walked away. You've done? No, 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 no. We've got the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. the whole... Oh, that didn't work too well either. So I gave them this warning. All right, boys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this clear. I'm asking you guys to uh, stop stalking me. Are you we'll make, we'll make this a legal thing, yeah, are you? No, I'm just asking you. you, you yeah, cool, sure. you understand that? Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. I'm just going to follow yeah, you from a safe distance. distance. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to follow me from a safe distance? Yeah. 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 Sorry, you're trying to trip over you. Yeah. No, don't trip over you. Yeah. 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 Step over you like that. But they made it very clear they were going to ignore it. So it left me with one viable option. I walked up to the great boys in blue. And I'm glad to say they were good coppers that day. They knew what I do. They knew that I never start trouble. They understood that like any media, whether you like them or not, I was merely there to cover the event. Just asking for somebody to take their ID. I don't know who they are. So they said they'll pull them up so I can continue to do my work. Guys, just disappear now. Yep, thank you, thank you, mate. Good. Done. See? You bloody ripper. Problem solved. And bonus, I've got some pretty great footage of a couple of cowards to make the clip even more exciting. So, thank you lads. But things started to get weird when these yardies started to cop a heap of flack online for being exposed for what they really are. They tried to justify their cowardly behavior by claiming they were just stopping me from humiliating the poor children. They know I wasn't there interviewing children. They could see I was only interviewing the adults who were there exploiting children. I'd punch up, literally. <laughs> Hell, they walked up to me and confronted me while I was engaging a fully grown man. Even though, to be fair, most of the kids were bigger than me anyways. <laughs> but in their little world, I'm somehow the one that's obsessed with them. Those idiots are just typical schoolyard bullies. We've all had to handle them throughout our lives. Who cry victim the moment they got caught out. But their actions have incited other brave keyboard warriors to make bold statements online. I know they're all talk, but Let's make something clear. Self-defense laws here in Australia allow me to take up option one. You know, the one where I put you to sleep. The moment you put my physical safety at risk. Just remember that. 
Because I'm a pretty disciplined and patient individual. But don't confuse that with weakness. When you're all talk or yell like these idiots were, I will continue to rely on good police to do their job so I can continue to do mine. I want to take this opportunity to thank the police officers there on Friday for handling the stalkers flawlessly. Yes, stalkers. But I'm here for you, not the climate change today. I'm here for you, I'm here for you, I'm here for you, I'm here for you. If you support our work at TR News, if you enjoy watching me expose these cowards and want to ensure that I can continue to do so, please consider supporting us financially at tr.news forward slash support. I'm not swearing. I'm not swearing. I'm not swearing. Fuck, 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 fuck.